Canadians know where I stand, this is a moment for responsible leaders to think carefully about where they stand and who they stand with. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thanks for all the interactions that I've had on two of the last four videos. They've been doing really well, especially the one on the truckers. Keep those comments coming in. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. We're doing a lot better over the last couple of days, and I want to keep that thing going because I could use the money. Speaking of could use the money, the uh, the truckers' convoy had their their money pulled by GoFundMe because GoFundMe are run by a bunch of bitches, and they were trying to like donate it to co approved charities, which we know what that means. It means like Vote Blue over in the United States and stuff. You know where all the Black Lives Money. Black Lives Matter money was going to, you know, Joe Biden's campaign. And then after a bunch of people complained almost immediately, shout out to Tim Pool, he really got that that train moving. You know, it's important to have people who have platforms like Tim Pool does where he has like a million subscribers on YouTube uh, to be saying this kind of stuff. Because I know people personally that sent some donations in and um, so now they're saying they can get a full refund and there was another place that set it up uh, I'll put it up on the screen that I saw it. I know the name right now. I had it in front of me. And I closed the window by mistake. So post-production skills, here we come. But as you saw from the title of this video, this is the most important part because the city of Ottawa has called a state of emergency because apparently they have an issue with people playing street hockey and honking their horns. Um, the mayor proposed that there be a mediator be sent in uh, by Justin Trudeau, which we know isn't going to happen because Trudeau doesn't participate unless he agrees with the cause, which is so stupid because when you had Black Lives Matter, right, the protest was against the government and the police and stuff like that for not treating black people properly in the United States. Don't know why they were doing it in Canada, whatever, whatever, whatever. But apparently there were issues in Canada as well, not nearly as many because we don't have as many, many as nearly people and we're much more, uh, we're less diverse in the United States. And Trudeau said that he would only go to ones that he agrees with. Have any negotiations with this particular group? I have attended protests and rallies in the past uh, when I agreed with the goals, when I supported the people uh, expressing their concerns and their issues. Black Lives Matter is an excellent example of that. But I have also chosen to not go anywhere near protests that have expressed hateful rhetoric, violence towards fellow citizens, uh, and a disrespect uh, not just of science, but of uh, the frontline health workers and, quite frankly, the 90% of truckers who have been doing the right thing to keep Canadians safe, to put food on our tables. Now, I understand that's a very interesting thing for him to say because those protests were just as much about the government and, hey, people of power, how about you do something of it? And is there anyone with more power in Canada than, oh, I don't know, the prime minister? You know, I was out there uh, marching and uh, uh, it, I agreed with the message. You agree with the message that you're evil? Because you, all you need is a pen and a piece of paper and you could change a lot of things that those people wanted, yet you didn't do anything. All you did was go out and march with them for a little bit and go, yeah, I'm with you. Kind of, not going to. No, I'm not giving up any of my power. Are you are you crazy? Why would I why would I do that? And in all fairness, why would he do that? Why would he? And the mediator thing is kind of worthless as it is because the terms are very simple. Drop the tyranny and we go home. It's a very straightforward concept. Extremely straightforward. But, you know, when you're dealing with a dictator, it's very difficult to get even the most straightforward and simplistic things through. And that's why the mayor of Ottawa called for a state of emergency. Because apparently, at least according to a Tim Hortons owner in downtown Ottawa, he said himself that business has not been great, but the truckers are always washing his floor and cleaning the bathrooms. 
If it had been a pro Trudeau group, they'd be pissing in the sink and shitting on the floor. I guess you got to stop all the people going in helping out these minimum wage workers where Tim Hortons can apparently afford to pay half a billion dollars to Justin Bieber to have his own Timbits or for you Americans out there, donut holes. But they can't afford to pay their mostly immigrant employee group at the ground floor of the cashiers and the people in the kitchen better than starvation wages. Good on you, Tim Hortons. But it, the state of emergency is talked about by the Globe and Mail. He declared a state of emergency over the truck convoy sounding serious danger. Yeah, all the burning buildings, all the looting, all the vandalism that's going on. Oh my God, how it's so dangerous out there for everyone. And he, he only did it to give them more flexibility in how to deal with ongoing protests. And that is basically what we're starting to see with cops, where they start to threaten people who are giving gas to the truckers because they've been using up gas trying to keep warm. Obviously, it's the middle of the winter in Canada. So, in and it doesn't take much to really outsmart the brown shirts because, number one, people realize that it wasn't a crime to do it, which is why cops aren't actually stopping people for doing it. And the ones that are getting caught on video and they're about to lose their job, as the old saying goes. But what they started doing is everyone just started carrying around gas canisters. So like every single person now that's at these rallies is carrying to a gas canister in each hand. So it's like now they don't know. They have to literally stop everyone to find out if it's empty or not, which is hilarious. It took a day to outsmart these idiots. I mean, I, I never want to credit Justin Trudeau, Doug Ford, or Jim Watson, the mayor of Ottawa. I've never accused him of being smart, but like my expectations were low, but Jesus. In a brief release, the city says the decision reflects the serious danger and threat to the safety and security of residents. What has happened to the resident? Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. They, they saw the last video where they tried to stage fake like racist pockets of the group but got caught doing that so they quickly threw that story out the window now they're just letting their minions who don't actually look into stuff continue to push that narrative online you saw them try to do the terry fox thing but then they saw that that was that was a false flag set up by freaking leftists and then you saw all the truckers and the supporters of the convoy cleaning up and like the terry fox statue hasn't looked better ever since they first put it up so it's all just falling apart. So they're just saying, they say like general terms like, like oh, there's danger and oh, safety and the science. But they never actually go into details as to what these things actually are, providing examples of why these things are being said and why these steps have to be made. Because if they talked about the science, Justin Trudeau would have to explain why mandating vaccinations to everyone makes sense and he's not capable of doing that because he's not a smart guy the decision gives city gives the city some additional powers around procurement and how it delivers services the city's release noted these powers could help purchase the equipment required for basically we're gonna ticket people illegally hope that they pay it and then we'll use that money to fill our pockets but we'll say that we're we'll say that we spent the money on providing help for the Frontline workers. What about the frontline work? Truckers are frontline workers. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? You mean the compliant frontline workers, the cowardice frontline workers. You mean those ones, the ones with no balls or no ovaries, whatever. Yeah, not the ones that are fighting against you. You know, the good little boys, the good little, good little boys get the monies. Good little boys get the money. And here's what it's really about at the end of the day, the release also says the decision underlines the need for support from upper levels of governments, plural. Of course, Doug Ford said, while we cannot direct the police, we we have provided the city of Ottawa everything they've asked for and will continue to provide whatever support they release. Yeah, you can't direct the police, wink, wink. You just get them to harass old men and use intimidation tactics and frankly lie to citizens about what the laws are by putting them under arrest under false pretenses and just hoping that this all goes away and hoping that the person fights back and that you can just under the radar pay them off and get them out of here. I know how the game works. 
I've been on top of this shit long before COVID was even a thing. And the vindication is here for me. And the vindication was in what's happening now because it's yet another victory for the crazy conspiracy theorists. It's the mandating the vaccines on children where I'll let you go look up the numbers on children yourself. I'll let you go look at the CDC numbers yourself and come to your own conclusions. The anti-Don Lemon, I'm going to encourage you to do your own research on that. Mostly because I'm not trying to get this channel banned because YouTube is trying oh so hard to do so to me. But as for, say on the topic of the children stuff, you guys are pretty shameful for trying to do that. That's gross. You, you all denied that that's what you were going to do. But like all these other things that you've been denying for the past two years, you just give it a little bit of time and it all comes out to be true. <laughs> but all in all, I actually have a proposal. I do. I have a proposal for Justin Trudeau. I'm going to be the mediator right now for the trucker convoy. And here's our middle ground. Drop the mandates on unvaccinated people and fuck yourself in your own asshole with a rusty fishing knife. Or fuck yourself in your own asshole with a rusty fishing knife and drop the vaccine mandates. Yeah. It, I'm giving you the choice. You don't have... I'm not preventing you from making a choice, Justin. You have a choice. A or B. Choose wisely. And I support wholeheartedly your freedom, sir, to choose. Like... Comment, subscribe, like always, like I said at the beginning of the video, and thank you for being here. Bye bye Truckers for life. Freedom Convoy. Whoop, whoop. Baby! That makes me crazy.